to hear everybody talking about he's my type, she's my type, and well, on, although we do kind of have types, actually we're always evolving and growing when it comes to, well, life in general, love included, everything. So even though you can have a type, your type can always change. So I would just say not to get bogged down on types. Because when we evolve and grow, our types, like I said, are different. You know, they can be different. Maybe they stay the same, you know. But I heard that on a movie earlier about someone saying, you're not my type, and yet they fall in love with them anyway. That just goes to show you, types don't really mean that much. Um, yeah, I mean, somebody might be more attractive to somebody who has a certain type of hair or eye color or height or characteristic. But when it all comes down to it, it's really about frequency. And frequencies change. <laughs> so to match other things so um, of course we always always hope that whoever we are with and right now I'm talking about love in particular um, that we grow together and we, we keep the same frequency but sometimes it's not always meant for us to be um, with someone forever no matter how much we we may love the idea of being with that certain person. Um, maybe we come down here to be in several relationships before we find that significant other. And maybe sometimes we're not meant to necessarily. But it's always about frequency. Now I would say don't try to necessarily match the frequency just to be with a certain someone. Don't change yourself just for someone else. If you're going to change yourself, change it for yourself, for the better for you, to be the best you you can be. And that wonderful person who matches that frequency will be right there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's exciting to think about that twin flame, that soulmate. I think we have several soulmates. And... The twin flame, I heard it's sort of like a like a twin angel, and that some most of the time they stay on the other side and wait for us. So I don't know, you know, that that may be true. And if so, then we can maybe enjoy at least one significant soulmate or a, like a little bit of a frequency of our twin flame, you know. Um, and I know there's so many different like. Like soulmate there, twin flame there, and then things in between. I, I won't go into all that because really I think the important thing is is when you are the best version of yourself and you're always, if we're always evolving and growing, hopefully, and changing, that that person that's meant to be with us, well, they'll be attracted and magnetized to us. So we don't have to have that. And I wanted to read to you something that I liked, even though I'm not necessarily sure it pertains to that uh, love thing, but it's just in, in general. And I think this came from Abraham Hicks, and it says, Today, no matter what I am doing, no matter, I have to use magnifying this, no matter who I am, okay, let me start that again. Today, no matter what I am doing, no matter who I am doing it with, no matter where I am at, it is my intention to see that which I am wanting to see. And I just love that. If we would say that every day, um, even throughout the day, and really feel that, everything that's meant to be with us will everything that you know will be in such a good feel place that will attract all these things to us what we are wanting I really love that anyway have a great um, evening and over and out